Emmanuel from Samuel. his sparrow. not talking, but he's in the past. <laughs> he can't hear. Sam. She's mad at Sam. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, they this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do something she should have done a long time ago. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He yeah, gathers his no strength and makes an effort to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam. You're very good at existing. How dare you startle my child? An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold! Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respect- Sam remembers the one thing he's good at. Paying for stuff. So he turns around to pay for his beverage. Sam pays the guy 500 euros. Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. He really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. Once again, Sam makes someone quit their job by tipping them too much. So long, suckers! <laughs> Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be <coughs> ex-girlfriend. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Vomit everywhere, mate. Vomit everywhere. who worked on the game just skip to the action who knew a bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam but a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today there's also the ground in hell Sam decides to walk the wrong way. Bus for boat. Typical public transport. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He, the source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion. Hold on a sec. Yeah?
cease and demise. The Grim Reaper. Death. He's trying to do a kick. Your attention spam is horrible. Death wants Sam shreds of life in exchange for resurrecting him. Sam decides to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber! That'll be all your friends, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay, but for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. He keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell, whenever that's going to be. <laughs> I broke. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, God, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You'll be alive. Everything be fine. All right, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you'll be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. You been blinking and breathing, happy bitchin'. So, all right. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kickflips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Sam tries out a strange maneuver by stepping with the same leg twice. Friggin' skateboard. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. With Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water, he has to cough. How hard is it to blink, Sam? He has to use his opposite leg to get up again. Sam tries to take a leap. Hey, dude, have you seen my... Oh. Uh... Sam takes a leap everywhere, including, but not limited to, himself. One empty bladder later, 
Sam moves on. You're impressing no one, Sam. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Sam is clean as a whistle. Good job, Sam. Oh. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Clean and empty, Sam decides to find some clues. Bring skateboard. Hi, let's see. Yeah! Yeah! Sorry, guys, for You're fine, walking. Sam. It matters. <laughs> Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. Sam in He picks a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants. Feeling more accomplished than ever, he proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. He puts on his shoes, living the dream of having shoes on. <sighs> Sam walks down the stairs and decides to hurl himself down the stairs. Apparently too used to hurling money around. Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. He has no time for playing with a Flappy Rooster right now, though. That was either supposed to or not supposed to happen. We'll never know. Gang wars are still an escalating problem at Bridge Street, where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to... Hey, Lucy! I'm home! Oh, hey, dude. Still alive, huh? There is a note saying, sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Love, Mom. Despite his mother's warnings, Sam breathes in. Disgusting, but necessary.
Sam finishes his food like the big boy he is. Good job, Sam. Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it before taking a sip. Sam drops the coffee. Dramatically. Out of cups. Out of hope. Sam underestimates the importance of air in his lungs. <sighs> Sam hurls coffee into his eyes for reasons unknown. He finally makes it out the front door, beaten. Terrified. Stupid. Dude, I am totally gonna kick flip over your car. I want to get that hood fixed. It, it be loose. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just get in the car. Hey, dude, I turned your automatic gearbox into a manual one for the... That'd be ironic or what? At this point...